Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about the Kosh Tepa Canal, a massive water project in Afghanistan and the areas it traverses. As you may already know, the Kosh Tepa Canal spans a length of 285 kilometers and is one of Afghanistan's most significant irrigation projects aimed at improving agriculture and the livelihood of the local population. This canal is located in northern Afghanistan and begins from the AMU Darya River. The AMU Darya River is one of the largest rivers in the region, originating from the Pamir Mountains and passing through several countries before entering Afghanistan. The canal starts from this river in Balkh province, near the border with Tajikistan. Balkh province, known for its rich history and agriculture, is home to Mazar-e-Sharif, its capital. With abundant water resources and fertile lands, the Kosh Tepa Canal plays a critical role in efficiently utilizing these resources. From its starting point in Balkh, the canal flows westward, supplying water to agricultural lands throughout the province. This has significantly increased agricultural production and improved the livelihoods of farmers. One of the key areas the canal passes through is the fertile plains of Shortipa and Kaldar, which are renowned for their productive soil and favorable climate, making them vital agricultural hubs. After passing through Shortipa and Kaldar districts, the canal moves southwest into Jiaoxian province, another northern province that suffers from limited water resources. Jiaoxian is known for its vast agricultural lands that have been underutilized due to water scarcity. With the arrival of water from the Kosh Tepa Canal, more land can be cultivated, enhancing the region's agricultural productivity. In Jiaoxian, the canal flows through key districts, such as Mardian and Kwajaduko, where vast lands are now being irrigated. This region, with adequate water, has the potential to become one of Afghanistan's agricultural powerhouses. As the canal continues westward, it enters Faryab province, located in the northwest of Afghanistan. Faryab, much like Jiaoxian, has vast agricultural land that remains underutilized due to water shortages. However, with water from the Kosh Tepa Canal, these lands are now fertile and contribute to increased agricultural output. One of the crucial districts in Faryab that benefits from the canal is Ankoy District which, with the added water supply, has the potential to become a significant agricultural and economic hub in the country. As the canal passes through several villages and small towns along its route, many of these areas, which previously struggled with water shortages, are now seeing opportunities for growth and development. The most notable benefit of the Kosh Tepa Canal is the expansion of cultivated land and increased agricultural production which not only helps improve the livelihoods of farmers, but also enhances food security in Afghanistan. The Kosh Tepa Canal is a vast and complex project that has employed thousands of workers across northern Afghanistan, playing a crucial role in reducing unemployment. Heavy machinery such as excavators, bulldozers, and advanced digging equipment are being used to construct the canal's foundation. The estimated cost of the project is significant, with early estimates suggesting it could reach $1 billion. These costs include construction, machinery, labor, and project management. Once completed, the canal will irrigate thousands of hectares of agricultural land that were previously uncultivable due to water shortages. The first phase of the Kosh Tepa project has been completed, with parts of the canal in Balkh province now operational and expected to supply water to nearby agricultural lands soon. This phase has already had positive effects on agriculture and the local economy. Now, the project has entered its second phase, focusing on construction in Jiaoxian and Faryab provinces. 55% of the work on the canal has been completed, and it is expected to be fully operational soon. This phase includes the construction of necessary infrastructure such as bridges and irrigation systems, employing a large number of workers and specialists. The Kosh Tepa project has progressed swiftly due to efficient management and the use of advanced technology for construction and supervision. However, the project has also faced challenges, particularly when navigating difficult geographical terrain. The construction teams must deal with unstable regions that require precise planning and the latest technology to ensure the project's safe and efficient completion. As the second phase comes to an end, the canal will cover more agricultural land, 
boosting the economy and improving the livelihoods of more people in northern Afghanistan. Additionally, the project will have positive environmental effects by increasing vegetation in the areas it crosses, reducing soil erosion, and preserving natural resources. Once the second phase is complete, the project will enter its final phase, which will involve completing the remaining sections and improving the management and maintenance systems of the canal. This final phase will also require significant effort and investment. The Kosh Tepa Canal, by providing water for agriculture, industry, and drinking, is considered one of Afghanistan's key development projects. It will help improve the lives of the people and contribute to the country's sustainable development. Upon its completion, Northern Afghanistan is expected to become one of the country's key agricultural and economic centers. Thank you for watching.